So it's been about six months since I purchased the Powerhouse 521 by Anchor, and I've had a chance to use it in a few different scenarios. I've used it on two camping trips in the summer heat, and let me tell you, when Drone Daddy gets hot, he gets grumpy, so a running fan all night is a must. Also, note to self, don't say Drone Daddy again, that's kind of creepy. And I've also taken it with me on several drone flying adventures, where I needed to be able to charge a drone, the batteries, the cameras, the microphones, all at the same time, while still being on the go. So, did it live up to the hype and meet all my expectations? Let's talk about it. Before I get started on my real life use of this portable power bank, I like to go over the specs out of the box. It features a 120 watt car outlet, a 60 watt USB port, two USB-A ports with them having a 12 watt max per port, and then two AC outlets for normal wall plug uses with a 200 watt max. It comes with a wall plug to charge the station as needed, but it also comes with a car charger so you could charge it in the car if you needed. I actually did this during the days while we were camping, so it was charged up and ready to work at night. But more on that later. Anchor claims that their 521 powerhouse can charge from zero to 100% in about four and a half hours when plugged into either a wall plug or the car charger, which I thought was kind of impressive. I wouldn't have thought that the car charger could match the speed charging it from a standard wall plug. They also have allowed for this USB-C port to work in two ways so you can actually charge the station itself by plugging a charger in there. And if that wasn't handy enough, it actually allows for you to charge from both the front and the back at the same time, which dramatically shortens charging time. This dual charging is really nice in case you find out last minute that you forgot to charge it up before a trip and you only have a couple hours to top it off before you leave. It has a really nice display screen, which gives you a lot of info. Not only does it tell you how much charge the station has left, but it also tells you how many watts it is drawing in while charging and going out while it is the charger. It'll also tell you how much time it'll take to charge or to be charged at the current power that it's receiving or giving. Anchor claims you'll get about 3,000 cycles out of this battery, so 3,000 charges, which is pretty impressive. Now, to my understanding, a cycle means any time that you charge it, so whether you charge it from 0 to 100 or 95 to 100, that counts as a cycle. So it might be a good idea not to just top it off for no reason. Let it drain as much as you can to get the most use out of this beast. The Anchor's sales page advertises that you can charge all of these devices this many times off of one charge. I'm not going to read them all out for you, but you can feel free to pause the video and read them if you so choose. It also comes with this switch called power savings mode. While you're using this feature, if your device becomes fully charged, the Anchor power station will turn off to save its own battery. So if you plug in your phone and your phone hits 100%, Anchor tells this thing to stop charging, which is a nice feature so as to not unnecessarily drain the power station. But if you're using like a CPAP or something like that that you need to keep charged, make sure that you turn this feature off. It does have a light on the front, and while it isn't crazy bright or anything, it is totally sufficient for what it needs to be. It also has an SOS blinking function if you need that. I'll take a moment before I tell you about my use and experience with this charger to let you know that I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video where you can actually get one of your own. Using my links helps the channel out a ton, and shortly before making this video, this power station had a price drop from $250 to $220. Hey guys, Editing Adam here, and I just wanted to let you know that at the time that I recorded that, I was actually wrong. It is no longer $220. If you go to my Amazon affiliate link, it is now $199, so less than $200 by this much, but still better than the $220 that I was telling you in this video. Anyway, let's get back to it. So it's kind of a good time to grab one. Maybe even a good Christmas gift for that hiker or camper in your life. Anyways, now on to what I thought of my time using this charger so far. Remember, I bought this with my own money, so I'm not being paid by Anchor, so I will obviously be keeping this product, but this is just going off my first handful of times using it, which I feel has been a pretty good real life test. So like I mentioned before, I brought this power station with the family twice this summer on some camping trips. It really proved to help out a lot. We were able to air up three air mattresses by plugging in the air pump that's included with the mattress. They needed filled up again during our stay and it barely used up 1% to air them all up. Now, where I really used the Anchor 521 was at nighttime. I hate being hot. 
If I get hot, I might as well just get up and do something else because I simply cannot sleep while I'm hot. Now, just so happens, the weekends that we were camping, the temperature was a high of 99 with an overnight low in the mid 80s. Now, that's way too hot for me to sleep. So if I didn't have a way to charge and run my fans, I'd have been in trouble. What I did was I grabbed this little rechargeable fan off of Amazon, and it did just fine running all night when plugged into the power station. Luckily, even once the power station died, this fan had about another three hours on high before it died itself. So running a full night was no problem. Then in the morning, I simply plug in the power station to my van and can actually keep the fan plugged into the anchor and both will charge. This is called pass through charging and it's the ability to charge something while the power station itself is charging and that's a really big deal. It saved me on our camping trips. Each night I was able to have a fully charged fan plugged into a fully charged power station. It can also power a small refrigerator, nothing huge, but if you have insulin or maybe a few bottles of water, it can keep a very small fridge running for quite a while. Now, keep in mind if you wanna bring a heater camping with you, it's likely not gonna work as heating elements use a ton of energy. And if this power station is put under any load over 200 watts, it'll just shut itself off to protect it. Now, Anchor does offer larger power station models that are capable of powering a heater, but this one isn't it. But for the basics of roughing it, I really got a lot of value out of taking this one with us. Now for droning. If you're new here and just found this video based on the title and the thumbnail, you may not have noticed that I am the drone dad. So. It goes without saying, I fly drones, and I take video of everything. Cameras, drones, microphones, they all have one thing in common, they need charged. And if you're out in the middle of nowhere, those devices have to compete over very limited outlets. So with this power station, I am able to bring a multi-port charger from home and charge everything at once. So whenever I pull up to the next location, I know my batteries are topped off and ready to go. Having multiple batteries for all my cameras and drones, I can charge two or three while I use the one and then swap out the dead one for one of the full ones and just keep repeating that cycle. So in theory, I could fly and film all day and never not have a charged battery. That's pretty good peace of mind for sure. Please make sure you subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comments how you could see yourself using this power station. Hit that notification bell to be informed whenever I make more reviews of similar products and click right here to go back and binge all of my tech videos on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I love you guys, bye.